Hey, it's Annie, your CW star, backstage at the LC with Trevor Hall. I don't want to reason anymore about the one I love, the one I love. Very cool. Well, you are in Columbus. You have a big following here. You're opening for Jimmy Cliff. How did that all come about? How did you get involved with him? Um, we uh, got on a show with them called Summer Stage, which is in New York, and they do a thing in Central Park where they play a free show in Central Park. It's awesome. And uh, he was doing that, and then we got involved with that show, and then uh, through our agents or whatever, we just kind of continued touring with him. So we have like three more shows, four more shows with him. So it's been great. He's really awesome, and his band is great. And yeah, it's been fun. So how would you describe your music? I know you say you have influences from Bob Marley, Bob, or Ben Harper, and Bjork. Like, right. how would you describe you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just all over the place. I don't really know where to go sometimes. I mean, I really like reggae, obviously. So, you know, it's got an acoustic side. It's got a reggae side. But we also kind of do some rock stuff as well. You know, I, I think I just, I like so many different genres of music, so I think they all kind of just get mashed up in my head and then they all kind of come out on paper. And there you so, go. Yeah. And I have read that you're good friends with Modest Yahoo, yeah. who I adore, and yeah. Colby Calais, and you've yeah. opened for them. What kind of advice have they given you or what have you learned from them? With Colby, I've learned that, you know, you don't have to, like, act all powerful to come across in a powerful way. She, her voice is kind of reserved and her songs are are melodic and they're not very, um, you know, I guess complicated in a sense. They're simple mm -hmm. and it's hard to be simple, you know, it's very hard to be simple. So I've learned that um, from her, you know, that there's power and simplicity in being simple, you know. Um, with Matis, I don't know, we just, when we get together, there's something that happens, and like when we get on stage, I think, you know, because he is a very spiritual person, obviously, I'm very spiritual, and like, um, with music, I don't think there's like a lot of people kind of exploring their spiritual life through their music. The one thing I do love, too, is you really kind of give back. I read mm -hmm. you're in, uh, you are involved with a charity, is it called Ball? Don? Mm -hmm. I, I go to India like every year and um, it's kind of my place I guess and I got I stay at a temple there with these little children and they kind of stole my heart and so I would do just something small you know leave like a, a donation box or something just a picture and mention it and through that we just started like really you know g getting some nice donations and helping the kids and and a lot of good stuff has come out of it. But I wanted to kind of take it to another level, you mm -hmm. know, because it's just me and I'm just sending it, you know, doing what I can. And I met this woman, Tanya Pinto, who's the founder of Baldan, who um, just through uh, this site called The Hunger Site, which is a place where you can go every day and you click on this button that doesn't cost anything. And every click is like a cup of food anywhere in India. If there's children that need food, clothing, she builds orphanages, she builds schools. I mean, she does the whole thing. So we kind of linked up with that just to make it a bigger project. Mm -hmm. So you feel like, I feel like you've accomplished a lot, but what's next for you? What, are, what can we see in the future? Oh, well, vacation, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, we, uh, we're going to finish this tour with Jimmy. Then we kind of come back for a few days, and then we do our own tour our last tour of the year mm -hmm. and then I think we get back around Octo early October and then we're gonna jump in the studio make another record um, take some time off for the holidays and then come back in early next year probably with the release of the record and uh, you know do a big tour around that we're, we also have some other ideas in the works but they're kind of too they're not fully together for me to mention yet, but we have some ideas. Stuff you told me you have to kill me. Uh, no, I just have to destroy your tape. No, I'm just joking. <laughs>